Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert. We're looking at folder tracks today. They're finally here and they've changed Pro Tools quite significantly. And uh, we're going to look at uh, the two available folder tracks, routing folders and basic folders. For this video, we're going to look at basic folders, which maybe don't get quite as much attention as uh, routing folders, but they're really, really useful. So what I've got here is, I mean, I've got a quite big session, actually. Um, it's certainly the kind of thing that needs a little bit of management. And uh, prior to folder tracks, I'd probably been using track show hides in the memory locations window, which is a really useful way of getting around this stuff. But it's probably going to fall out of favor because we have basic folder tracks, which can do this stuff for us in a much more elegant way. Uh, here in the Edit window, we can see what's going on. We'll just put the tracks list away, I think. But yeah, we've got plenty of stuff going on here. And uh, yeah, we could do with organizing that a little bit. So what I'm going to do first off is uh, in the uh, in the edit window, I'm going to get these drum tracks and I'm going to put them into a basic folder track just so that I can clear out this edit window and make it a bit more manageable. Before I do that, it is important to think about why are we doing this? There is the really fundamental thing about session organization, being able to control and quickly change which tracks you can see and which tracks you can't see at any given time because sessions inevitably get bigger. There's a couple of other reasons as well, though, actually. One of them is that it brings some much-needed sense to the soloing logic of exactly what gets soloed when you solo groups of tracks together and whether or not you need to get into solo safes and stuff, which which can be a bit of a drag. Um the, the other thing, actually, is just it does bring some basic editing functionality that can kind of be useful. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder track. I can do that from the new tracks dialog. So Command-Shift-N or Control-Shift-N on a PC and gets us to this window. And you probably know if you use that shortcut that if you hold uh, Command or Control on the PC and you hit the down arrows, you can go down through these familiar tracks that we've had for ages. Now, if you go up, you can go back up again. But when we start on... Audio track is where it defaults to. If you just hit uh, Command and Up, it takes you straight to Basic Folder Track, which is what we're looking for. I'm going to name it as well. I'll just hit Tab to go over to that field and call it Drums. And here we go. Now, what I've got is I've got a Basic Folder Track, but it's created it right at the bottom of the session because I didn't make a track selection before I did that. So we'll go in again and uh, we'll actually do it properly this time. So... Here at the end of my drums, which I'm going to take to be there, uh, I'm just going to do the same again, like there, tab over, drums, and there we are, and it's now in the right place. Now, to get all of these tracks that I want to go into this folder, uh, I can do it very hands-on and just make a selection and just drag them in. And you can see where they're going to go by this useful orange line that sits around it. And here we go. We can see we've got this inset to the track headers, which shows that, that these tracks are contained within this container, this folder. If we go over into the mix window, you can see that in a similar kind of way, we've got this blue line. This blue is the default color, but I mean, if we just come in here and we make it a different color, let's make it yellow, that probably shows what's going on a little more clearly. And the main trick for a basic folder is you can click on this folder icon and it will hide all of those tracks. They're still there, but they're just not on view, which is exactly what we were looking for. The same thing happens over here. Just click on them, and there you are, and you can toggle them and unfold them. Now, what you can do is uh, if you put your edit selection in that track, you can hit Shift and F, new shortcut, which will toggle. Now, what you will find is that uh, if you don't have this switched on, track and edit selection is linked, then if your edit selection is somewhere else, we'll come down here maybe, pop it down here, then if you select that track, but your edit selection is still down there, it won't work because it doesn't go off the track selection you've got. It goes off where your edit selection is or your insertion point is flashing. However, if you switch this on, then what you get is you get a link between your track selection and your edit selection. So if I click up here, That'll work with the track selection, which is quite a useful thing to do if you're working with basic folder tracks. Let's make another folder track using a different technique. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here. I've got a big, great stack of violins here. So I'm just going to select all of these. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click and go Move To, 
new folder. And that'll open the uh, move to new folder dialog. And uh, what I can do then is I can name my new folder and I'll get a folder created for me. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to back out of that. And instead of doing that, I'm going to hit the shortcut command option, shift and N. That'll be control, alt, shift and N on a PC. And I can get to exactly the same place. So shortcut for that. And then all I need to do is I just go, I want to make a basic folder, name the folder uh, strings. And there we are. And it's created a basic folder track for me and put all of those tracks into it. And then I can toggle those and put them away in the way you'd probably want to. Now, I've got some other strings here, these end violins. So what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'll do it from, from this window because it's pretty much the same. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new basic folder. Uh, I'll call this uh, end strings. And if I want to put all of these into there, I can do so in exactly the same way. Move to. And if I've already created the folder, then it'll appear down here in this list. So same thing, done another way. So here we go, and if I toggle those, I now have two. I'm going to colour these differently again, just because it does help to visualise what's going on. So there we go, we've got an orange and a pink. And then what I can do, I'll do this from the uh, edit window, is uh, if I pick this up, actually, let's have a look in here. And in the tracks window, you can see exactly what's going on just because I've got an end strings and there's my folder and you can see the source tracks are offset and linked by this little line here. And I've got a strings folder here and they, if you see they line up left to right, shows that they're both on the same layer. They're both one folder layer deep. Now, if I pick this up and I drop that into there, things have changed. Now what I've got, you can see this has gone further in, is I've nested two folders, and this is a lot of the point of doing this. And you can see that that orange goes all the way down past that pink. You can see it more clearly, actually, if you come over into the... Uh, if we go to Narrow Mix window, actually, and we'll be able to see it even better, because hopefully we'll be able to see it on one screen. And there you can see you have the orange, which is completely surrounding the pink. So we're seeing we've got this nested structure because we've got a folder, end strings, which is inside another folder, strings. So I'll just hit Command, and Option, and M to come back to Wide Mix View. That's Control, Alt, and M on a, on a PC. And anyway, there we can see basic folder tracks, what we can do with them, how we can quickly organise our session so that we can take some of the chaos away and make what was... Uh, a, an unhelpfully large session, a bit more manageable and a bit smaller. And we could, of course, carry this on and nest folders within folders up to eight layers deep. And you can make even the biggest session more manageable.